Chris Jericho says he has zero interest in ever going back to WWE. Kenny Omega shares that things fell off the rails leading into AEW All Out Fight. Vicky Guerrero reportedly set to leave AEW. Bailey says she will never give up hope on Mercedes Monet returning to WWE and more. Welcome back to another episode of The Latest. I'm your host, Denise Salcedo, and we got several news stories to get into here today. So let's kick things off with a recent interview that Chris Jericho did where he addressed whether or not he would like to return to WWE. Take a look. Chris Jericho expects to finish his career with AEW. While speaking with the Daily Star, Jericho said he has zero interest in ever going back to WWE. Jericho said he loves everyone in WWE, but he takes great pride in what's been built in AEW. When asked if AEW is where he wants his career to end, Jericho said, quote, I don't see why it wouldn't be. I don't hold a torch for WWE. To me, that's not the place to be. AEW is the place to be. It really is. I've been in WWE. I know how it works. They work that way. I don't care if Vince is there, Hunter is there, or whoever is there. They have a way of doing things, and I was there for 20 years, and I was pretty good at it. I like the way we do things at AEW better, so I don't know why I wouldn't want to finish my career in AEW. I never thought that I wouldn't finish my career with WWE but things happen and I was just like I want to go to Japan and do this match with New Japan Pro Wrestling and it opened up a whole new world for me it was like oh my gosh this is the fun side of wrestling again business is business and there's always ups and downs but I have zero interest in ever going back to WWE that's not out of bitterness or anger I love Vince and I love Hunter and all those people there but I just really dig AEW and I have a stake in the game I came here right out out of the gate, I was the guy. I take great pride in that. I started here. Why would I want to walk away? There's so much more that we can do. The sense of accomplishment is massive. Jericho joined AEW when the promotion launched in 2019 and has been a world champion for both AEW and Ring of Honor. Last October, it was announced that Jericho had signed a three-year contract extension with AEW. The extension takes his contract through December 2025. The contract extension also included new behind-the-scenes responsibilities for Jericho in AEW in in addition to continuing to mentor young talent. Jericho now works as a producer and creative advisor. The 52-year-old Jericho told the Daily Star he enjoys helping people with their promos but doesn't know if he sees himself exclusively working as an agent in the future. Jericho said he doesn't know if his in-ring career will end tomorrow or six years from now. And for the first time since AEW All Out, we hear from Kenny Omega who discusses a little bit about what took place heading into AEW All Out and the brawl between the Elite, CM Punk, and A Steel. Take a look. Former AEW World Champion Kenny Omega opened up about the situation that occurred at AEW All Out, one he feels was preventable. In addition to the strange vibe he felt about AEW when he returned last August. Omega appeared on Renee Paquette's The Sessions for nearly an hour on Tuesday. He said that when he left in November 2021 to deal with his various injuries, he felt AEW was in a really good place. And then, when he returned in August 2022, he felt like Donald Glover in the famous GIF where he shows up with pizza and the entire room is on fire. He said it was a strange atmosphere with a strange aura. Omega said he hasn't yet got himself re-familiarized backstage with what he called the new AEW. W at that point with all the new faces and all the changes since he was gone. He felt an eerie feeling and said it was when Stranger Things started happening, describing to Renee that he felt the need to be the voice of reason. From there, Omega said, quote, Things fell off the rails. We were just involved in a very silly situation that people are probably going to be talking about for months and possibly years to come. Omega said that anyone that has been involved in competitive sports and or combat sports has dealt with situations where there are conflicts that are often worked out and sometimes even after a fight. He felt there was a point in which that could have happened, 
but soon came to realize this wasn't like high school football or someone in jiu-jitsu training. Saying, quote, It's a shame the general public and a lot of people aren't ever going to know how it went down or how it could have been prevented or how it could have ended differently. I don't think anyone is happy that how it happened or is proud that it happened. I think across the board, everyone thinks it was a terrible situation that was unnecessary. He said that since the issue, the atmosphere has cleared up backstage, but it was hard after the incident because people were forced to form their own opinions and theories and they were unable to speak on it because they were sworn to secrecy legally. He felt that led to people leaning on the side and story of whoever they were a fan of when in reality it could have been a combination of various theories. While he said those involved may never get to speak out about it, he is happy and thankful that no one was seriously injured and that he's moved on with his life. Saying quote, the fight doesn't dictate what I do or what I say. I'm sure the young bucks are in the same boat. I can't speak to the other parties. Hopefully they are doing well, and I mean that. Additionally, Kenny Omega didn't give any hint to his future or his contract situation when asked. But the first thing that pops into his head in the next stage of his career is to be able to advise those with so much ahead of them to realize their potential sooner than he was able to. He said he doesn't really have goals or aspirations at this stage like he did in his younger days when he was motivated with the G1 or IWGP champion or match of the year. That has made him question his situation at times and if he is being ungrateful or wasting his time. And Reels has reached a deal with Peacock. However, MLW content will not be included. It was announced on Tuesday that Reels and Peacock have agreed to a deal to bring Reels, linear channel, and on-demand programming to Peacock starting this Wednesday. But because of Peacock's ex exclusivity with WWE, the linear channel won't be available when MLW Underground is airing. And Vicky Guerrero is expected to leave AEW this summer. According to a report from Fightful Select, Vicky Guerrero and the company have mutually decided to not renew her contract when it expires this July. She has been teasing a new journey recently on social media. Bailey is also hoping that Mercedes Monet one day returns to WWE. The 33 year old spoke with Ariel Helwani for an interview released on Sunday. During the conversation, Bailey was asked about traveling to Japan to witness Mercedes' appearance in the Tokyo Dome at Wrestle Kingdom. Bailey was also asked about the potential of her returning to WWE, to which Bailey said, I'll never give up hope that she'll come back. Alrighty, that is it for today's episode of The Latest. Let us know what you thought of these stories in the comment section below. As always, if you would like to chat some pro wrestling with me, feel free to give me a follow on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at underscore Denise Salcedo. Plus, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online, and I'll catch you on the next episode of The Latest. And if you would like to check out my podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, here is the recent episode.